It's a beautiful day to draw comic books. Everyone draw and everyone look. It's drawing simple shapes and even capes. Yeah. It's time for Comics Academy and... Wait, why am I acting so weird? Well, Will's friend Jonah said I reminded him of Mr. Rogers. And I can't really argue with that because he's a pretty cool guy. If you don't know who he is, just ask your parents. But now, it's time for Comics Academy. Today on Comics Academy, we're going to talk about the parts of a comic book or comic strip. Now before, we worked on draw, using simple shapes to draw animals like a cat or a dog. Uh, but today, we're going to actually be talking about comics themselves, so you can make a comic at home. Okay, now what is a comic? Well, the way I define comics, and you should know lots of people define comics different ways, is telling a story with words and pictures using art as the basis to start. Now, a comic for me can be as simple as two panels, and these squares are called panels, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, and we just have the passing of time. So I'm gonna have this character very simply drawn named Sticky Stickerson, and if you're wondering about if you have to be a good artist to do comics, the answer is no. Comics are about the story. And did you know that some of the most popular comics on the internet are actually stick figure characters? So we're going to just have this character Sticky. And Sticky has a top hat. Well, in the first panel, the top hat is on his head. In the second panel, he's picked up the top hat and it's off his head. That's a comic. It's a simple passing of time. And do you know how we pass the time? With this magic area right here. The line, the space between the panels. That's called a gutter. So, anyway, let's get to the next part of comics. Now, the thing about comics is, is that you're telling the story visually and with words. In another episode, we'll talk about the history of comics, but right now, we're gonna create a comic together. So the first thing I'm going to do is create three rectangles or panels. Now my cat is in the background there. You may see her popping in and out. But uh, so if you hear any weird sound, that's what it is. It's not that the roof is caving in on me. So I've drawn these three panels and uh, what are we gonna have happen? Well, you know, this story, uh, often we put a title right here we have something happen, and as in all great stories, this will have a beginning, a middle, and what? An end. Right. Does that sound good, Will? Yeah. Oh, everybody, uh, this is my cameraman, Will. He's also my son, and he's gotten very popular on the show. So, Will, say hi to everybody. Uh, hello. That's all you got? Oh, do something different this time? Oh, no, it's fine. Anyway, uh, so... We're going to do, have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it could be really, really simple. I think in this case, what we're going to have is... I, you remember we did a bunny rabbit? Let's have a bunny rabbit and just do it with simple shapes. We've got a circle and a half circle. And then two upside-down teardrops to make our bunny. And let's have him smiling. Okay. Maybe we even add some hopping lines. And... Uh, Hmm, now that's a picture, but we don't have any words. So let's add a caption at the top that says, one day in the city, dot, dot, dot. So one day in the city, we've drawn our bunny. And do you see something that could be a problem here? I've put the bunny ears up here. Sometimes it's easier to do the writing first if you know what you're going to do, or to just lightly pencil the art. So once you put in the letters, you know to take that away. Um, oh, I know, this is in the city, so let's add sort of those lines that represent a city. And there's our bunny, Bunny Bunnerson. It's always a very creative name. 
Now, let's add, oh, I know, let's have him singing. And what I'm going to do here is a word balloon. You notice before it was a box, and that's called a caption box. And that's where you say, one day. But a word balloon puts words in the mouth of your characters. And you see this thing right here? That usually points down to their mouth. That's called the tail of the balloon. And that this is where you put the words. So um, let's just, I'm going to just have him, he's just sort of whistling or singing. So I'm just putting a musical note in there. And he's bouncing along. And then let's add another caption box. I'll do this one first. And I'll just add the word suddenly dot, dot, dot. Okay, now here's where we're gonna really change things up. Because if you just have it be the same drawing over and over or at the same distance, it's not quite as exciting. So what we're going to do is a close-up. Now a close-up, if you ever watch a cartoon or a TV show, you'll see someone walking down the street and then suddenly you'll see a close-up. You see their face very, very close up. So we're gonna take Bunny and draw his eyes and his ears are going off the panel a little bit, but that's okay. And we're gonna draw his mouth really wide open. And let's add some eyebrows. And he says, ah! Okay, you don't have to yell at home, because if you do, maybe your mom or dad will come running. But in this case, he's saying, ah! And we know that something bad is gonna happen. So, this is where things are fun. We've got our beginning, our middle, and now the question is, how are we going to end this? Hmm, what do you think? Well, if you're at home, you might want to try to draw your own comic and come up with your own ending. Kind of like uh, this piece of artwork that I got from one of my viewers. I want to thank you for that. Will, do we know what that person's name is? Ronan Farrell. Ronan Farrell. Ronan, thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, and we really appreciate that art that we're showing up on the screen. So now back to this. You can come up with the ending yourself. But in this case, hmm, I'm going to have a big meteor fall on top of Bunny Bunnerson. Ah! And I'll add a special sound effect. The sound effect smash. So you see these lines that I'm doing here where the meteor crash? Those are called speed lines. And we've got our meteor here. We've, I've drawn sort of like explosion lines here. And we've got the word smash. And that's a sound effect. There's a couple different things we've handled here. However, what if this panel was completely different? What if we drew something completely different? Instead of a meteor falling on him, something else happened. We cut back to a small picture of a bigger rabbit with maybe a dress on. And Bunny says, Mom. And he's been visited by his mom. It's a very different, although not as exciting story. Also, what if we're not done with this story? What if we go back up to the meteor falling and something happens. In fact, it could be a couple different things. It could be a panel that shows that Bunny Bunnerson is now squashed and flat as a pancake with crosses for dead. And we write, poor Bunny. Everybody always thinks that's pretty funny, but Will's giving me a face like, Dad, what did you just do? You've wrecked these kids' childhoods. Well, let me tell you, that's not the one I would do. I would do the one where Bunny pops up and the meteor has given him superpowers. And he's now Super Bun. And he's smiling. And he's, uh, he's shining. And it says, Bunny gets powers. Okay, so today we've covered different steps of comics. We've covered panels, 
gutters, caption boxes, and the good old word balloons. I hope you'll try some of these at home and maybe you can come up with a story. It doesn't have to be made up. It could be something like, uh, your little brother drove you crazy, so you chased him around with uh, a Nerf ball. Uh, something like that. But I hope what you do is use your imagination, have fun, and once the rain stops, get outside. Thanks a lot. This has been Comics Academy.